Pizza in Orlando. Hey everybody, it's Erica Van Pelt from American Idol. Uh, we're in Orlando, we're here at the, uh, the Amway Center in Orlando. Uh, we just got here yesterday, we actually had a nice day off. Uh, got to hit Disney World, which is my favorite place uh, on the planet, which was a lot of fun. Uh, didn't get as much time there as we would have liked, but we hit all the highlights, so that's awesome. Space Mountain. Space Mountain is your favorite ride? Space Mountain is totally my favorite ride. It has been for years. I think the first time I went to Disney I was 11 and then ever since then I've been I've been making it a point to come at least every two years since then. So, every two years, okay. Yep, yep. And I was here last year with my family. I brought my mom for her, uh, for her birthday. So this is cool. Cool, okay. So tell me a little bit about how American Idol has changed your life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, American Idol has has done so much for my for my career. I feel like as an artist, you know, um, it took me from a place where I was, you know, DJing five or six nights a week, um, playing with my band. I did a lot of weddings, things like that, which I love. Um, but I feel like American Idol gave me that first step. Um, it was my catalyst towards really like launching a good solo career for myself, you know. Um, I'm used to being on stage with, you know, 15, 16 people, you know, full horn section, five singers, you know, like whatever. Um, and American Idol gave me a chance to really showcase my own uh, individuality, which was really, which was really cool for me. You know what, I feel like I had a, a pretty unique experience with, uh, with the judges and with the voting. It's, um, as everyone knows, probably, you know, I went through a pretty uh, crazy makeover, big change on the show. Uh, I took a huge risk, cut all my hair off, dyed it black. Um, I basically just wanted to show people that I'm not afraid to take risk. That's what it was about, and it was about just uh, enjoying the experience and sort of that carpe diem attitude. I just wanted to do something for myself that would, that would set me apart. Um, and unfortunately, what I noticed is, uh, Voters can sometimes be a little fickle, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, I feel like it may have actually done me more harm than good. But uh, good thing for me, I'm certainly not defined by that number. I don't walk around with a giant ten hanging over my head. You know what I mean? I ha certainly have self uh, value, and I'm I'm grateful to the fans that did support me throughout my journey. And uh, I made top 10. Can't complain about that. I feel very blessed. Oh, man, I love Orlando. I love Florida in general, but um, I don't get a chance to come down to Orlando very often. I'm usually in Palm Beach, so um, it's fun because Orlando is obviously a very like tourist-heavy place. Uh, but I like being around people. So for me, um, obviously having SeaWorld and Walt Disney World and everything like around, um, it's obviously just buzzing with people all the time and. Uh, it just seems like everyone's happy here. I love it. I mean, why wouldn't you be? You know, <laughs> there's like so many fun things to do. I think my hope for the future, you know, uh, obviously talking short term and long term, um, I want to make records, you know, so uh, as soon as tour is done, I'm, uh, I'm hoping to obviously get picked up by a good management company, a label, you know, that, uh, that believes in me and also is willing to, uh, to work with me. I have a very strong sense of self. So I think for me, it's very important uh, as an artist to find uh, both a label and a management company that recognize who I am as an individual and are willing to, uh, to work with my quirks. I have a few eccentricities, and I'm certainly very opinionated. I'm a very strong woman. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully there will be a record in the near future. And uh, I'm writing on the tour bus, so hopefully that will come to fruition very soon.